Considered the backbone of the U.S. Navy's aircraft carrier fleet today and for decades to come, the Super Hornet has recently been upgraded to its latest version, the FA-18 Block III. This promises to change the military aviation industry. So, what tactics, capabilities, and potential does this fighter jet possess that makes Air Forces crave? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now let's dive in. The F-A-18 Super Hornet entered service in 1999, replacing the F-14 Tomcat. The Super Hornet is the second major upgrade since the F-A-18 program began and is highly capable in the full range of missions. Air superiority, fighter escort, reconnaissance, air refueling, close air support, suppression of air defenses, and precision strike day or night. The single-seat 18E and two-seat 18F are both high-performance, twin-engine, mid-wing, multi-mission tactical aircraft designed to replace the 18C and 18D aircraft as they reach the end of their service lives and are retired. The jet is designed to meet the Navy's current fighter interdiction and escort mission requirements, maintaining the FA-18's fleet air defense and close air support roles. Enhancements to the 18E and 18F include increased range and improved carrier-based capabilities necessary for the FA-18 to continue its role as a key strike fighter against advanced 21 state century threats. The previous F-18 Block II Super Hornet entered service in 2001 and has incorporated a number of capability-enhancing technologies over the past 20 years. It has built a reputation as the backbone of the Navy's carrier air wing and a workhorse in the fleet. The last production F-18 Block II aircraft was delivered to the service in April 2020. The latest Block III upgrade extends the platform's lifespan and range while incorporating advanced cockpit systems, reduced radar cross-section, and advanced networking infrastructure. Boeing delivered two Block III Super Hornet test jets to the U.S. Navy in June 2020, with production following successful testing and a contract signed to deliver 78 new-build F-18 Block III jets to the service through 2024. This latest version offers an increased lifespan of 10,000 flight hours and a reduced radar signature, and comes with a new avionics suite that brings common tactical picture to the cockpit. Advanced cockpit systems with large touchscreens for improved user interfaces and more powerful computing capabilities through the distributed target processor network and tactical target network technology. The FA-18 Block III Super Hornet will undergo extensive testing by the U.S. Navy before entering production and operational service. Although significantly larger than its predecessor, the FA-18 Hornet, weighing approximately 7,000 pounds more, with a 50% greater range, the Super Hornet has fewer parts and lower maintenance requirements. The jet's robust airframe is built with an open mission systems architecture, allowing for easy integration with new weapon systems and technologies. Through incremental block upgrades, the Super Hornet has proven to be adaptable and able to keep pace with adversaries in today's dynamic combat environments by continually striving to deliver greater lethality and mission flexibility. The Block II production version incorporates an active electronically scanned array, ASA radar, improved sensors and avionics, increased range, and the ability to employ precision weapons. The Hornet and Super Hornet are the airstrike force of many foreign customers, including Canada, Australia, Finland, Kuwait, Malaysia, Spain, and Switzerland, with many other international partners expressing interest in these proven and versatile platforms. Thanks to innovations in electronic systems, improved stealth capabilities, increased operating range, and new electronic systems, the FA-18 Block III Super Hornet is more compatible with the F-35A and F-35C aircraft and can easily control and command unmanned aircraft when performing attack missions. The installation of an additional fuel tank on the back with a capacity of 1,590 kilograms helps the FA-18 Block III Super Hornet increase its flight range without affecting its aerodynamic performance. Equipped with the IRST-21 passive sensor system combined with the Legion pod reconnaissance targeting system, Block III accurately detects and tracks targets at long ranges at a safe distance for U.S. air squadrons and, and naval groups and can simultaneously accurately track multiple targets, 
Even those with advanced radar jamming systems while being able to hide from enemy electronic reconnaissance equipment. The fighter will be equipped with a new airframe with more than 9,000 hours. Experts say that the U.S. is currently focusing mainly on countering new Russian technologies, because Russian technology is far superior to Chinese technology. U.S. military officials even hope that the Block the Three Super Horet will be able to compete head-to-head -head with Russia's Sukhoi Su-57, and in case the F-35C does not perform as expected, this will be a potential alternative. The German Air Force has announced plans to renew its force with new aircraft. The aircraft that replace the current tornado attack aircraft must meet German requirements, especially possessing nuclear attack capabilities, because Germany is part of the NATO nuclear sharing agreement. With this standard, initially buying more Typhoon fighters and buying new F-35 or F-15 were taken into account. However, it was quite surprising when the German Air Force rejected bright candidates such as the F-35, F-15, or Typhoon, to choose the F-A-18 Advanced Super Hornet carrier-based fighter as the basis for its air force. According to official information, Germany will order 30 Super Hornets. It has an internal 20 MMM-61 rotary cannon and can carry air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground weapons. Additional fuel can be carried in up to five external fuel tanks and the aircraft can also be refueled in the air. The combination of Hornet and Growler, according to the German idea, is suitable to meet the requirements of attack fighters and electronic warfare aircraft. New features include polygonal fuel tanks above the main wing route, which helps extend the flight range by about 300 kilometers. Equipped with advanced radar, installing an additional infrared search and target designation system that allows it to detect stealth objects. Enhanced electronic warfare capabilities with a number of technological solutions successfully applied from the EA-18G Growler Electronic Warfare Aircraft. The Advanced Super Hornet will have the ability to protect itself and attack electronically without being too dependent on the EA-18G. Boeing has completed the upgrade and life extension of the first two service life modification, SLM. FA-18 Block 303 Super Hornets, delivering them to the U.S. Navy one month ahead of schedule from St. Louis and two months ahead of schedule from San Antonio. The upgraded jets have the same capabilities as Super Hornets being delivered from Boeing's new build production line. Our success in meeting the accelerated timeline is proof our service life modification game plan is working, said Faye Dixon, Boeing SLM director. Thanks to our years of learning on the program and our partnership with the Navy, the FA-18 Super Hornet remains at the forefront of defense technology with renewed years of service to support the fleet. In partnership with the Navy, Boeing has improved productivity and is completing Block 3 upgrades ahead of the 15-month contract requirement. This was made possible by establishing a baseline for the condition of Block 2 FA-18 received at Boeing and the Navy's work to prepare the jets in advance and sharing information and best practices across multiple SLM sites to improve efficiency, manage workload distribution, and optimize resource allocations. Great measures were taken by the Boeing and Navy teams to ensure these are the safest and most capable Block 3 FA-18 we can give our warfighters, said Mark Sears, Boeing Fighters Vice President. These are just the first of many deliveries, with around 15 years of SLM deliveries to go. Our warfighters are counting on us to get this right every time. These first deliveries of Block 3 SLM jets are a major milestone in our continued efforts to ensure capability, reliability, availability, and maintainability of the Super Hornet aircraft, said Captain Michael Burks, program manager for the FA-18 and EA-18G program office. We look forward to our continued partnership with Boeing to deliver this critical warfighting capability to the fleet. The FA-18 Block III Super Hornet represents a significant advancement in military aviation, reinforcing its role as a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's carrier fleet. With enhanced stealth capabilities, improved avionics, and an extended lifespan, it ensures the Navy's readiness to face evolving 21 St. century threats. This latest version, with its cutting-edge technology and adaptability, offers superior combat capabilities, ranging from air superiority and precision strike to close air support and reconnaissance. The integration of advanced systems like the IRST-21 passive sensor, Legion Pod, and increased range fuel tanks further enhances the aircraft's ability to operate in challenging environments while maintaining a low radar profile. Its flexibility in performing both fighter and electronic warfare roles, 
alongside compatibility with unmanned systems, sets it apart in modern warfare. The global appeal of the Super Hornet, evident in Germany's decision to adopt the platform, highlights its versatility and reliability on the international stage. As Boeing and the U.S. Navy continue their partnership through service life modifications and future upgrades, the F.A. 18 Block III remains a vital asset, capable of defending against next-generation threats and maintaining air dominance well into the future.